Let's stay in Parliament. Is the government worried there isn't enough public support for changing the flag? A group of government MPs met this morning to try to drum up more public support for the flag change. The government says it wasn't a crisis meeting. If not, what was it? Political reporter Benedict Collins joins us now live from Parliament. Hi, Benedict. What is going on here? Yeah, g'day. That's right. They're, they're absolutely positive it's not a crisis meeting. Both John Key and Bill English are very sure on that. They've told me repeatedly. They say, hey, this is just a group of, uh, of ministers and MPs who are keen to change the flag and they're trying to get some more momentum for the uh, change of the flag there. And um, yeah, they said it was Maggie Barry's uh, idea and that she called in the MPs yeah, for the meeting. OK, hold on a sec. They would say that, of course. I mean, they're hardly like to say, yes, Benedict, Mayor Culper, it's a crisis. <laughs> you know, we're bricking ourselves. They're not ever going to say that, are they? So what was the meeting called for? Is it now government policy to get this flag through? And were all of caucus there or only some of them? Well, definitely only some of them, and it's definitely not uh, government policy to get the flag through. John Key was very clear, hey, this is up to each member in the National Party, they can vote whichever way they like. But he did also say, hey, look, when, when the government looks at this, they're looking at the polls, and before it was about two-thirds of the public were opposed to changing the flag, a third in favour, and, and they say that's narrowing. So they're quite, well, they're not confident, but they like the signs that it's getting closer. So the, these uh, ministers and MPs who got together, I think they're going to try and look at what they can do just to try and ramp things up a little bit in favour of that uh, blue and black Kyle Lockwood flag, right. the challenger. Yeah, Benedict, this is an unfair question because I suspect you don't have a clue, but any idea who wasn't invited and why they weren't? Is that list, is that list publicly available? No, you're right there. I, I don't have a no, clue. Just no, uh, no, 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 no clue whatsoever. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, 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 is the, what are these MPs going to do then? Did they tell you what their strategy is? No, we haven't heard that either, but well, I did have a uh, chat with Andrew Little, who was very surprised, the Labour leader, to hear that this meeting had taken place, because he says, hey, look, you know, the referendum is just a few weeks away. I think it starts on the 3rd of March, and it's all over by the 24th. So uh, he, they've left it very late, and Andrew Little said, hey, you know, the train has left the station here. They've left it far too late. But what he thinks ha is happening here is he thinks a lot of national MPs and, and um, ministers are getting it in the neck from their own party faithful here who are really opposed to changing the flag. So he thinks that could have been, you know, behind the meeting today. Benedict Collins from our gallery office. Thanks, Benedict.